I got a whole lot of news for you today. I mean, this is all stemming from, not all of it, but I got a few articles here I'm going to talk about. But it looks like <laughs> this uh, new order to get the troops out and everyone else in the Ukraine kind of stems from this phone call that Biden and Putin had today. Um, <clears throat> Biden warns Putin the U.S. will react decisively and impose swift and severe costs. You think they don't know that? I just think it's funny we keep jumping on the phone with this guy. Like, do you think he doesn't know? He's already invaded another country, but he already made the invasion before. It didn't stop him from doing it. You think he doesn't know where the sanctions are coming? He's over there buddying up with China. It's, uh, you know, they spent an hour on the phone, and I think they realize this ain't going anywhere. Which, funny, I'm, I'm on Twitter looking around trying to get some updates, and sometimes you get some more real-time news, like stuff that's going on in the ground before, you know, CNN or Fox or CNBC you can pick it up and fact check it and publish it a lot of times you get some stuff on twitter most of it's bs but there's a lot of people that are saying that this is never going to happen the invasion is never going to happen the invasion is never going to happen and you know when it does happen those people go and delete all their tweets you know it's like we, we hope it doesn't happen you hope that he's going to push this thing to the brink and hope that he gets what he wants or something and then he can go back and say hey Look what I got us. And if he does get something, but it's not that great, he can't go back because he'll look weak. And this is a guy who has pretty much spent his entire life looking strong as hell. This is a dude that's like shirtless, riding a horse and shit through a, a river or something. His whole persona is tremendous moxie. Um, so if he doesn't, if he can't bring something great back to his country, he's going to start a war. And I don't know why we need, we got PhD sitting around, they can't figure this out. So let's hope this doesn't happen. But this is a guy that doesn't usually bluff. I have a feeling Biden had that phone call today just so we could get some PR out there saying, you know, we did this, we made these threats, and we did all that. Look, he knows, Putin knows that he's got Europe by the gonads with energy. And that's why I... Why wasn't Germany really stepping up? Like, the the little articles I caught here and there just didn't seem like they wanted to get in the middle of this stuff right now because I think they consume a hell of a lot of the natural gas. Don't quote me on that. They know what's going down. So Russia does have some power. He's got some something going on with China. So even if the sanctions hit, it feels like maybe they're not going to hurt as much as they think. Um... Yeah, today's call wasn't going to save it. So then you saw this saying that um, Pentagon ordered the departure of the U.S. troops in Ukraine, which, you know, I was a little bothered by. It sounded like we were sending troops over to, like, support, um, you know, some of the equipment we sent over and all that. And I'm like, we don't need to get in another war. It, it does seem like the American people, we're tired of wars in general, right? It's, uh, it seems like it's never a good time to start a war. And this is definitely not a good time to start a war, and, and obviously with the wrong people. Let Europe take care of this. Um, so I'm looking at this and thinking, all right, they're <laughs> they're going to get the troops out of there. Hopefully we don't got to do this crazy evacuation like happened in uh, Afghanistan. A little bit different in Afghanistan, though. Crazy there, crazy times there, right? But if Russia attacks Ukraine, there's going to be missiles raining down on that joint. And then probably a full-on land invasion. There's not going to be a, let's get everyone to the airport. And, you know, will Russia go after U.S. people? I don't know. I guess maybe if we engage. But I think this is a sign that Biden's like, all right, <laughs> this shit's going down now. Um, some other stuff to look at. You know, we sent four destroyers, um, four destroyers to Sixth Fleet to support NATO allies, it's it's like we're, it's like the Syria thing and maybe some of these other proxy wars where we get involved in some way, somehow, some fashion, but it's not going to be like a U.S. soldier or a Russian soldier like firing at, e at each other. We're one or two steps removed, but it's, does this not just escalate things at the end of the day? It's can we just, 
Can we just stay out of it? Or should we not stay out of it? Do you think we should be over there? We got so many problems going on right now. Supply chain issues, some you know, semiconductor issues, which hell makes me wonder. I, if you try to order a BMW right now, you can't order the Bowers and Wilkins upgraded stereo because of chips. <clears throat> I've been waiting on an audio interface for one of my studios, uh, music production studio, this one, for months. I can't get the audio interface because of the chip shortage. I ordered a truck in like September. I can't even get a bill date because of chips. Like, is there something else going on? Like, is, is there like some mass weapons getting built right now and they need all those chips and they're not telling us? And I'm not one for conspiracy theories, but that just sounds... Why can't we get some kind of chips right now? But we got so many problems with the country, inflation, supply chain. Like, do we want to get involved in a war? Nope. Let's send four ships over there. And then I just caught this. I don't even know what Navy Times is. I didn't go. I'm not researching these people. I just type some stuff into Google. I'm just trying to get some news. I'm not really looking for someone's opinion. Um, and this thing, Russia claims that they chase the U.S. sub out of their waters. Would it be? Would you be surprised <laughs> if we had a sub cruising around, you know, or multiple subs cruising around anywhere near Russia right now? It's, it, I'm sure we are. But uh, I don't know, man. This is the sign, though. It's We had the sign. We've been talking about it. I've been doing episodes for like a month now. They might just go all the way up. And this might be the greatest World Series of Poker Bluff where he's going to get it so tense and he gets so many troops and he ships and this, everything surrounded just to see if he can get what he wants. But I think at some point, you got to push all in. Because if you bluff once, then no one's ever going to believe you again. So... Again, it just he's not the type of dude that seems to back down. And he probably looked at Afghanistan and thought, okay, we can't get our crap together. The world's hurt right now. It's not just us. The world is hurt with COVID. We are we're fighting ourselves. You see what's going on in Canada, many other countries, the lockdowns, the virus is ravaging things. We got economic issues, supply chain issues. This is, like, you, you tend to press things at times of chaos. That is when you usually have your best window. There's always an opportunity in chaos. Doesn't mean it's going to work out, but that is, you, you stress somebody when things are chaotic, and that is your window to see if someone makes a mistake, or they just say, I don't want to screw with it at all. Obviously, we, we, we want to screw with it a little bit, but uh, five days are saying maybe by Wednesday, it's we'll see it got you know gas prices are creeping up 92 93 a barrel i paid and no, i'm like saying oh, jesus i paid 449 for premium today which i know premium's expensive but for michigan that's bonkers europe's going to be in an energy crisis you know we're going to possibly see 100 plus dollar you know oil <laughs> do we need any more um stress on the economy in the world right now but going to be a crazy week i have a feeling um you know if i if i catch some other news here i'll uh do a post but i don't know man it, it, the twitter world seems to think it's not going to happen i'm probably like 75 percent it will happen 25 percent it won't and i'm saying 25 percent is because he gets something europe bends nato bends you got like somewhere along the way he's going to have to get something and if he doesn't get enough He's going to pull the trigger, and and then here we go again, right? So, And here's the thing to think about. I was talking to someone else about this, and look, I don't study geopolitical anything. I just I don't care. It's not something I'm going to be sitting on my deathbed going, oh, wow, I wish I studied more foreign politics. I, I don't care, man. There's a lot of other things going on in life I care more about. But if you think that there'll never be another war, that we won't have World War Three or World World War Four or World War Five, that every line for every country is now written in stone, that borders will never change, then you're delusional. Um, all over time, you know, even when the USSR broke up, you just look, and nothing will ever stay the same forever. And maybe it's not now. Maybe this war doesn't happen. But borders are not going to be written in ink. The they will change. Other countries will be taken over. They will break apart. More world wars will break up. And 
you know, you always worry about, you know, the nuclear aspect. You know, Russia's got nuclear bombs. We don't want to go to war with any kind of war with another nuclear country. But it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Another nuclear bomb will get dropped at some point. It might be sooner than we think, or we might all be dead by the time another one drops. But it might be 100 years, 200 years, or 300 years from now. But to say that that will never happen again, I think that's delusional. Everything happens on a long enough timeline. So crazy times. Um, that's why I say I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the invasion does happen. It's This is not going to... We might, we might go another decade for it happens again, but countries are going to fight each other. Bombs will get dropped. There will be another world war. It's the unfortunate truth, but nothing ever stays the same. That's the only thing I really know. But uh, we'll see. Crazy week, they're saying by Wednesday. Um, they're thinking missiles first is what I read. And then ground invasion. I mean, that sounds like normally what happens in modern times anyways but uh, it's just a question of how much do we get involved and do we do we want to get into it or do we get dragged into it is the question um i don't know right now um it seems like something you'd want to stay away from it seems like we are sticking our nose in it a little more than i thought we would or hope we would can we keep an arm's distance or do we get drug into it I, uh, that I don't know. But either way, it's going to be one hell of, of a street brawl. And this isn't Iraq, right? It's it's not Syria. This is a whole, it's not Afghanistan. This is a whole different beast. Like, you know, Russia's not what it used to be, but they have, you know, a legitimate, they have a legitimate military. It's a, it's war on a different level. So anyways, what's your opinions? Do you think it's going to start this week? Do you think it's going to back down? What do we do? Should we be in it, not in it? I don't know. Let me know. Drop a comment.